what is up? Today I'm doing the second part of my room redo makeover video and I'm so excited because I'm showing you guys a lot of DIYs that you could like make and do to pimp up your room and make it a lot cooler and more like you and more 2017. And I teamed up with Pendulo Hobby on this video to give you guys the best craft supplies that I use every single time I make a DIY. They're the best and they also don't only sell craft supplies, like the light box that I use in this video and other small decor and that kind of stuff they also sell so that's really really cool. I love Pendulo, they have stores in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland. Yeah, you can check out all the stores and where I got all the craft supplies on their website down below which I will link and all that stuff so don't you worry. <laughs> and what I love so much about this video and what makes it different from other DIYs is that I'm going to be pimping up like Ikea furniture or Target furniture or things that I got from like Logger House or stuff like that. And also if you haven't watched the first part of this video then make sure to watch it. You click right up there to watch it. If you want more of like the redo room inspiration kind of uh, videos and more videos with me then you should totally click the subscribe button. And if you want to see more behind the scenes and more of me like doing things and that kind of stuff, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of behind the scenes there and I like uh, thinking that I'm a really cool Instagrammer. So please follow me because that would be in the world to me. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking because I've talked way too much and we're going to go shopping for craft supplies. So let's go. So we're at Panduro and I'm going to be shopping craft supplies. So yeah. This is my favorite place, an entire Pandora store. They have like design foil and tape in every single color. And I especially love like this one because this is like marble in black. So I'm going to be grabbing a black one and a white one. And we're also going to be needing a frame. And I think this one looks really good. Okay, so I just finished at Pandora, which is there. And I'm going to go home and do it. And I'll see you there. So one of my main priorities when redoing my room was organizing stuff. So we're going to be making these three Tumblr IKEA organizers and I'm so excited. Let's go. So what we're going to be needing will obviously be a IKEA organizer which you can find at the kitchen section and it comes with like this handle which you could just take out. We're also going to be needing some blackboard paint or some spray paint, some paint brushes and a blackboard marker. Just start by painting the entire box with your chalkboard paint and you can do one or two layers, it doesn't really matter. Or you could go ahead and spray paint your box in this neon yellow color, which I just find so pretty. I don't know why. And it's way too underrated. And after your first or second coat with chalkboard paint is dry, you can go ahead and write on it with your chalkboard marker and you can write whatever you want to. And if you want to add something a little bit extra, I recommend adding some design foil to the side. All you need to do is trace out the box on some design foil, cut it out, peel off the backing and just gently press it onto the box. Do that on both sides and that is it. Now you can go ahead and fill the boxes with whatever you desire. You can make a really tumbler and put some really cool things in or you can just put whatever you want to, like a lot of junk. That's what I did in the other boxes. And yeah, that is that. Now if you're really into marble like me, you're gonna love this DIY. All you need will be some white marble design foil, a glass object or container, a ruler, and a roller knife. So you want to start out with tracing the glass onto the design foil and you want to make it kind of like a rainbow shape, a little circular. Just make the shape a little bigger than the glass because we're going to be cutting away the edges at the end. Now flatten it all out with a ruler, cut away or fold down any excess design foil like I'm doing right here and that is basically it. Now you can store whatever you want to in it. I love this pillow. I think it turned out so good in my new room. So what we need to make it will be some pillow fabric, some stencils, some paint, and a spongy paintbrush. So start by putting something in between your pillowcase so that the paint doesn't bleed through. Now you can just go ahead and tape the stencil onto the pillowcase and just start dabbing some of the color onto the stencil. And you can just go ahead and blend it while you do this. It's surprisingly a really, really calming process. So just have fun while doing this and prepare to be really calmed down. Now go ahead and wait two or three hours for the paint to dry and then you can just put the pillow back in the pillowcase and enjoy your beautiful creation. Even though, 
You guys always ask me how I do my drawer dividers, so now I'm gonna show you, be prepared. You will need some foam board, a glue gun, a roller knife, a ruler, and a pointy dotting tool, or some kind of a pencil. So you wanna start out by measuring how tall you want your drawer dividers to be, and then just measure that onto some foam board, and then just go ahead and cut along, just so that it's as tall as your drawers are. And all I did with the dotting tool was measure how far up I needed to cut so that I can make a straight line with the roller knife. Now I just do this multiple of times with different lengths so that you could get different kinds of organizers for your drawer. And now you can just start by glue gunning them onto your drawer and to each other so that you make a divider for all your stuff. Now if you want to be a little more careful with your stuff, you could go ahead and tape this side of your drawer and then just glue gun on top of the tape so that we're not taking any chances with destroying our furniture because that would be really, really bad. And I do recommend having the items you want to organize inside your drawer while you're doing these drawer dividers because it will just make it easier for you to see where you want to put the dividers and where not to. So let's get organized now, shall we? While redoing my room, I really wanted like a big fashion logo. Let's DIY. We'll need a black frame, some white paper, some Mod Podge, some pencils, some glitter and some paintbrushes or black sharpies. So what I did was that I just drew out the Chanel logo by hand because I didn't have a printer at home, but you could just print it out if you want to or draw it like I did. And now comes the fun part. Now paint all over the logo with some Mod Podge and sprinkle a lot of glitter on top and do this multiple of times so that you get the entire logo covered in black glitter. Now you could just shake that off. Shake, 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 shake. Put your logo into your frame and reveal your beautiful fashion creation or Passion logo creation. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't really consider this a DIY because it's so easy, but all I did to spice up my Alex drawer was to grab some tape and a scissor and just basically cut off strips of tape and cover it on the side of the drawer, like I'm doing right here. And it just really adds something. I just, I just love the gold accent it just gives my drawer. So try it out, maybe you'll like it. Or love it, like I did. <laughs> subscribe button to follow me and follow my life and all the things and also follow me on Instagram if you want to follow my life follow me there and also check out my part one and a video that I'd really really like you to see right up there yes so I will see you next time bye everyone <laughs>